Hi everyone, this is Create and Cherish. I'm back again. I didn't post anything new in the last two weeks because I was on vacation and my internet was so bad I couldn't do a tutorial. So today I'm gonna be showing you the second rock I did along with my boat rock and uh, it also has boats on it but uh, the sky will be a little bit different it will be done as a mandala so first i'm painting the circle the moon and then i'm gonna be doing uh, all the white uh, lines that i usually do up front before i start with the colors As the summer is over, I hope you all had a great time. I uh, I would love to hear in the comments where you spent your summer holidays. I was at the sea with uh, my family. I would love to say I got a good rest, but it was quite the opposite. It's uh, it's not very uh, it's not very easy to go on vacation with a little child. It's always something you have to do, carry uh, or, I don't know, clean after the child. So I hope it will be much, much easier when he gets bigger. But I did find some time to uh, paint on my vacation, so this was great for me. I did some ceramic uh, heart uh, mandalas. You can see a short video on my Facebook page if you would like to check it out. They are not available anymore, but it's also a nice idea to maybe to do a tutorial one time for, for it. So as you can see, I'm doing slight smaller boats uh, with uh, sailboats uh, this time. Uh, it's a bit harder to do a smaller boat because you have to be careful that all the dots don't connect to each other and it's kind of hard to fill it so it has uh, looks so it looks nice but I like the idea of smaller boats.
I decided this time I will be doing a mandala sky. Although I like the gradient type of the sky, uh, it kind of uh, sticks out when you do it in a mandala style. You can also uh, make it like a gradient of colors. I will try to do it. I will try to do this on this rock. So I will be using uh, different orange and red uh, cadence colors, and I'm gonna try to create something that should look like sky, but it will be of course a mandala as well.
I decided to uh, do the bottom part of the sky with simple dotted lines because uh, if you look at the rock, it's not really, uh, how should I say, roundly shaped. So if you continue with uh, the mandala until the end, you won't be able to, to have the consistency. And it's much easier if I finish while it's still nice and round. So this is the reason why I'm doing this uh, lines of gradient yellow color and it's also I don't know it looks somehow nicer to me than if I would do the mandala all the way to the bottom
I will go with a lighter green color for the mountains. As you might have noticed, I was doing some mistakes on the way and it's not a really a problem to correct them when you're using a, a simple brush and uh, a drop of water. It's easy to correct everything, but sometimes, of course, you have to delete a couple of rows of dots that you have created because it's hard to be such so precise when you're trying to erase only the the wrong dot. But it, it's something that you get used to, so at the beginning it was frustrating for me, but with time it gets easier. So this is also the reason why I like to wait a bit before I start with the next row. Uh, as I said, I will be doing a lighter a green uh, mountain. I think it would go well with these orange colors and mountains is something I really like to do it's somehow uh, relaxing you don't have to think about anything because however you do them it will look nice you just start with the line and and go along so it's something I really like to do and it's something where I make the most mistakes you gotta make mistakes to get it right
it's really not important if you first paint the boat and then the sea or vice versa but uh, it's maybe easier to make uh, to choose the colors for your uh, boats after you're done with the whole picture because uh, sometimes I don't choose the best color when I do it in front and when I wait until the end then you can see what what fits the most so I did this boat with the same color as the mandala sky it's kind of a reflection uh, on the boat but I don't know maybe they would look good in purple version also or maybe I don't know I have no idea which colors I would put on this boat when you're doing the sea don't forget to fill the the little spots between the sails I usually forget them and then I don't have the the paint I should be I should have uh, put there if I did it when I should do it so I will be finishing uh, this sea with standard standard blue gradient I'm using this time also cadence colors I just picked one color and uh, added a lot of white at the beginning and then this is how the final rock looks like after varnishing i varnished it with acrylic varnish, with acrylic glossy varnish for a nice uh, end and i don't know it looks great to me especially when you paint water uh, glossy varnish is something that reflects water very nice so I like to apply it uh, so thank you all for watching and thank you for subscribing to my channel and I hope uh, my next tutorial will be something Halloween related